Wait a minute, Raj. I can't believe it. Jesse Johnson didn't see anything. Boy, I tell you what, I, Nathan Edwards from Des Moines, Iowa, making an impact here in Steel Main Wrestling early on. He attacks Kyle Pro before the bell. Edwards is no slouch. He's got a tremendous reputation. The fans, of course, are giving him a hard time chanting, who are you, because they haven't seen him uh, before. Well, I'll tell you what, neither, neither have I, but I will say one thing. Since he walked out, I've never seen a guy work so hard before a match even started. Seriously. I was afraid he was going to blow up before the bell rang. It's like watching Idol going to the concession stand. It's a whole process. Eh. No, 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 no. The, the food is not included, so oh. the food is not free. It's a very short process. Gotcha. Nathan Edwards. Did you see Idol go over and try and sneak a piece of that birthday cake from that birthday party the table? The man tried to steal a piece of birthday cake. I mean, you talk about the lowest of the low. I've seen this guy do all kinds of crap over the years, but to steal a birthday cake, a piece of cake from a, somebody celebrating... The man knows no limits. Look at Nathan Edwards. Look at him now taunting the fans about ringside. What a, the hell's he doing? Oh, he ran all the way across the ring, around the ring, only to be clotheslined when he came up on the other side. Kyle Pro, of course, a graduate of the 
Hard- Academy School of Wrestling. That's the hardest I've ever worked, seen someone work to get clothesline. Isn't that something? <laughs> <laughs> well, you weren't privy to my marriage, obviously, but at any rate, that was in the divorce proceeding. Man, did I take a shot. <laughs> Look at Kyle Pro following up Nathan Edwards in the corner. Well, maybe if you had worked hard. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> when the AWA royalty checks stopped coming in, then it was over. That 17 cents a month made a big difference, I'm telling you. I was going to say... Those two figures. Don't worry checks. about it. Don't worry. Nice drop kick on the part of Kyle Pro. In for the cover. Got the leg hook. Kind of wanted to. Nope. As we said, Kyle Pro, the f- one of the premier graduates from Ken Anderson's uh, Academy of Professional Wrestling School here in the state of Minnesota in the Twin Cities area. And this kid gets better every time yes. out. Yes, and he's putting on a little more size, which we see him kind of every time out as well. Giving up a lot of size, too, in this matchup to Nathan Edwards. Oh, what a thunderous clothesline. Nathan Edwards, assuming that the match was over, he announced that the half of Hennepin County. Well, oh, wait, here, here we go. Here we go. Off. Here we go. I don't know if this is a good idea. Oh, he's I, giving I, I don't know. Mick, most guys I've seen wrestle in a singlet at least start with the straps over their shoulders. First time I've seen anybody start with the straps down. Not a good sign. Not exactly orthodox is, no. uh, is Nathan Edwards, um, to say the least. But his reputation around the upper Midwest, I tell you what, is a damn good one. And, you know, for, for all his bravado, oh, knife edge chop. For all the conceit and arrogance and, and shenanigans, this guy is a tough kid in that ring, and he's going to be a, a handful for Kyle Pro. Hard end of the buckle. And Bar- one thing that Edwards has on his side, he's got Kyle Pro in the experience factor. No and, question. And, and a, sometimes we have seen as good as Kyle Pro is getting, sometimes we've seen that inexperience really cost him. No doubt about it. It's just that one little mistake. You know, maybe you forget to hook a leg or, you, you know, you're a half a step short or on, on, a, on an attempt at maneuver, whatever it might be. But you're right, Ken. The experience factor definitely favors Nathan Edwards. Although one thing Kyle Pro does that Nathan Edwards doesn't do, when he gets an advantage, he does not play to the crowd. He goes right and stays after his opponent. There's a rake of the eyes, the, the eyes rather. And I, I tell you what, another thing about Kyle Pro, and this is, it's either a great thing or a bad thing. He's fearless in that ring, and sometimes that's cost him. Maybe yes. when discretion should have been the better part of valor, but nonetheless, he will not back down no matter who you are or how much size he's giving you up. You know, Mick, that's a great point. I don't want to get overly philosophical, but I, I think sometimes in when you're fearless in the ring, if you're inexperienced, that's a bad thing. When you become fearless in the ring, when you're experienced, that's a good thing. I, I agree, 100%. Absolutely uh, spot on there, Ken. The fans picking up the chant once again of who are you. Well, I tell you what, Nathan Edwards is probably going to make the fans regret that chant by the end of the night. He's making an impact not only on the fans, but on the sternum of Kyle Pro. Look at look at Edwards what? now. What, what, the point in this, is, oh, he fell on his head. The man <laughs> fell on his head. <laughs> Nathan <laughs> Edwards, a little bit of showboating. You know that old, what goes around, comes around? Uh, I think it just came around for Nathan Edwards. It sure did. But Kyle Pro has been on the receiving end of some clubbing forearm shots, and it's allowing Nathan Edwards to maintain the control here. Now with that chin lock from behind. When was the last time you called a wrestling match where you saw somebody continually do kip-ups against a rope? For no reason. No reason whatsoever. And y- you see how it ended, and I'm guessing that's why you don't see it too often. Nonetheless, right on the back of his noggin. Uh, although I, I I will say one thing that seems appropriate. Yes. And Nathan Edwards and referee Jesse Johnson, you kind of have kindred spirits. You do. You do. There's no question about it. There's uh elevator didn't quite reach the top four for no, either one. No, there's no doubt about that. There is there is that connection. 
Referee Jesse Johnson, I think he thrives on the controversy, though, Ken. He, he loves every bit of it. You know, bad publicity is still publicity, I guess. Are you sure not giving him maybe a little too much credit? Do you think he realizes there's controversy? Good point. Look at Nathan Edwards now. He's measuring. There's nothing fancy. Oh, come on. Come Does on. Does he really think he's going to get Kyle Pro's shoulders down for a three count with a boot? That is one bulbous physique, I guess you could call it a physique, on, on Nathan Edwards. And now look at him with disdain kicking at Kyle Pro. Absolutely insulting. You know, don't get too cocky in there. You know, we mentioned Ken Anderson's training of Kyle Pro. This kid knows how to wrestle. He knows how to schoolboy you, roll you up for a pin. So I don't know if Edwards should be posturing the way he is with that Alfred Hitchcock-like physique. I'm With that physique, I'm just a little concerned. I kind of wish he'd put those straps on. Avoid any embarrassing, it, it, any embarrassing moments. It is like looking at the sun directly, isn't it? Oh wait, a look at look at what from the top. Oh, nobody there. Oh my God, that was one, that was one monumental collision there. Edwards back in the ring canvas. Kyle Pro, he, he always has a contingent of fans. I got to say that. Yes, what yes. a following he has. Yes. Nathan Edwards, two or three times, keeps ringing the bell, but just oh, nobody God. home. Oh, God. His, his lower torso, and there's quite a bit of it, went into that lower turnbuckle. And Nathan Edwards and, is and, in a and, world of hurt. And I think the turnbuckle took the worst of it. Turnbuckle wants a timeout. I don't think there's any question or a salary increase. Listen. Oh, oh. man, Kyle Pro turned him inside out, but I'm not so sure that both wrestlers. I think Kyle caught a shoulder yeah. uh, simultaneously. Very competitive matchup, ladies and gentlemen, and still to come. The Steel Domain Wrestling Heavyweight Championship is on the line. The reigning and defending champion, Brick McCarthy, to defend against the big, rough, tough Jay Bradley out of Chicago, Illinois. This might be the slowest count I've ever seen. Well, he got lost. He, he kind of got hung up on three and then had to figure out where he was. Referee Johnson. Same for Edwards. As we said, kindred spirits. Kindred spirits, yes. Nathan Edwards. Even Roger Buck liked that one. These two are exchanging shots here, but Nathan Edwards is out on his feet. He keeps falling against the ropes. That's the only thing keeping the man up is that coiled steel. Look at these two. I tell you what, it's bragging rights when you're uh, when you're a young wrestler. You want to make a name for yourself in the business. Oh, oh, God, Kyle caught him. And I mean he nailed him with that shot to the jaw. Look at Kyle Pro now. Oh, takes him to the canvas. Boy, this crowd is all I over. I was trying Nathan to catch it. They were saying no more what? I didn't catch the, the last one. I didn't either. I was, I, was, I was yapping, so I missed it. Watch this now, Kyle Pro. Oh, he drilled him. Is that enough? Count of one. Oh, how close was that? Very, very close. Half a beat away from a victory over Nathan Edwards. Here was Kyle Pro. He's complaining to referee Johnson. He thought it was a three count. Complaining about referee Johnson's cadence in that ring, which you and I have pointed out many times, very uneven at best. Well, again, as you mentioned, previously he got lost at three. I think that time he got lost at two. Watch this now. Nathan Edwards, he's got Kyle Pro hoisted up on his shoulders there. Where does he go from here? Kyle trying to fire out of it, and he does. Oh, hard into the buckle. Well, that's a lot of weight to get up there. No, nope, he couldn't hold him. Couldn't hold him. Kyle Pro, that God, he took his head off again. Decent with devastating shot. And this time, Nathan Edwards goes right after Pro. This has got to do a nice effort on the part of Kyle Lazy Pro. Pro. Lazy Wait. cover. Well, that could come back to haunt him. A count of two. Nathan Edwards, Kyle Pro, ladies and gentlemen, here at Steel Domain Wrestling, the Bloomington Event Center. 
Mick Harsh along with Ken Resnick. A nice crowd on hand once again. And our erstwhile. Legendary. Legendary man about town, bon vivant, Roger Buck, is sitting with us at ringside here. Close personal friend to Greg Gagne. Didn't know if you knew that or not. Well, did you? <laughs> I have no comment. All right. I'm just saying. Not as close as you and Hosaka are, but that's, you know, that's legendary. <laughs> open, open up the gate to that channel. No, it's over. Again, it's over. Yeah. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Headset went out. <laughs> oh, wait a Look minute. Look at what? Kyle Pro now. Oh, God. He got every bit of that power bomb. Rolls him over now. What a victory this would be. A feather in the cap to Kyle Pro. Watch him now. Look how strong this guy. Oh, my neck, neck breaker. Fall away neck breaker in for the cover. He got, got him. <laughs> Great win for both Kyle Pro and Jesse Johnson. They both got to three. Oh, my. A tremendous for Kyle Pro in front of a very appreciative crowd here at the Bloomington Event Center. As I said, this kid has a tremendous following, and he deserves it. He's fought hard. He's fought long. He's going to make a name for himself in this business. Doesn't hurt to get a notch in the gun belt with a victory over Nathan Edwards, who's throwing a tantrum as his, on his way back to the locker room. Kyle Pro gets the Duke here in Steel Main Wrestling. We're coming back with the main event.